Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. So, councillors, we just finished our regular council meeting and uh, we just came out of camera and uh, adjourned our regular meeting. We are now going to start our organizational meeting on uh, this 23rd day of October. Um, if you realize that, it's one year that you have been on council. Therefore, we are, <coughs> we, we are expected to have an organizational meeting. So I will call the meeting to order, and you have an agenda that needs to be approved. Councilor Brown? I make a motion to approve the agenda for the organizational meeting of the Kirsten Town Council held the 23rd of October, 2018. Okay. All in favor? Thank you very much. So the first item of business is a review of the Council CAO Covenant. I really think this covenant is a very important one. I do not know, uh, Jeff, if you want it resigned every year or if the original is fine. Yeah, just for review. All right, thanks. So the only thing I will uh, bring your attention to is maybe one item under the um, Council Chief Administrator Covenant, but on the council side. There is one item that I think is very important. It says, refrain from any public or private criticism of our, our administration. And I think that's an important item. Our administration is the only employees that we have in many towns uh, that have an awful lot of problem because this is not expected. <coughs> So, a good point to always remember that our CAO can always be approachable and we don't need to embarrass him in public. It's not important. It's been happening. But that happens. What I'm saying, it happens. It happens in other town and it's very, very unfortunate. It, it's very disturbing to me. The next item is a review of bylaw 1652A. Council procedure bylaw. We had a little error in there. We had the 52A was a weird, it wasn't the correct amendment, so it's fixed on your devices now. A is only a one line amendment that we fixed last year. So 1652 is the, the base it's, bylaw. It's a basic bylaw, okay? All right, so are there anything there that really feel doesn't work for you. That bylaw really has many items. It talks about uh, the rules of procedures, talk about meeting times. Are the meeting times okay with you? Are you feeling comfortable with that? Talks about form. We never had a problem and I want to thank you for your attendance. Yes. Just, just the one thing here. We don't follow a hard, fast rule on item D, Robert's Rules of Order. We have our own way to do it, and, and it it's works. working for us. If you are a big organization like uh, Calgary, Edmonton, because of number of counselors and all that, you have to be a little bit more rigorous in yeah. the way you kind of interpret the law, because you can see that there is one item there that speaks about the fact that when you have asked one question or brought your conversation into the discussion of motion, you have one crack at it and that's it. Yeah. Well, we have a lot more than one crack at it here. So, I prefer the way we're doing it. So, if you want to be very sticky, then it becomes really miserable, I think. The meeting decorum, uh, talking about respect, I really want to congratulate you on that. I don't think we have had any issues. The order of business seems to work for us. Motions, we starting to become more familiar for uh, the work. And uh, the way we proceed in camera seems to be well understood. Silence. Is important when you come out of camera, you don't spread. Well, the we don't call it in camera anymore. It's 
it's uh, in it's a closed meeting, right? Yeah, closed meeting. <coughs> so should be should be yeah. amend that you correct, yeah. counselor. Good for you for yeah. getting that. And uh, the appointment and organization of committee. Well, we just dealt with that. We now understand that they can have a certain amount of autonomy the way they want to run their their affairs, so long they are accountable to council. And uh, the regulation for conducting business in committee, that is important uh, the same way as what uh, Councillor Barnes mentioned when I went to a regional committee. I was surprised, or likes in DC, the governance model was, and uh, I questioned that and uh, something was done about it afterwards. I think you need to make sure that governance is followed properly because a meeting well run has a good governance model. Okay, so that is this item. The other item that we have has to do with bylaw 1668, the Council Code of Conduct. There are many items under that uh, heading. Is there something that you want to discuss regarding it, or are you feeling comfortable with it? <coughs> we have communication. The communication is there regarding as to who communicates what the town, how we do it, what we need to be careful of using medias, or entertaining media and uh, the importance of not misusing our powers and influence. Anything else that you feel needed to be addressed? Uh, uh, um, because we're counselors and I think every one of us has had the public stop us on the street or a church meeting or wherever, you know, with concerns about this or that and the other. And I was uh, treated a little bit rudely at the state conference the other night. The guy was really upset about the water. You know, what are you going to do about it? You know, and, it was, and I'm like, well, you know, we need to talk to Jeff. Water. The, 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 the water, the taste is, is awful. I, I've had two or three complaints this week about the taste of the water here in town and uh, I said well contact Jeff or contact Bart and let them know because I don't have the answer right and uh, all I said to him well I, I use filtered water so I don't know what the answer yeah. is. Uh, but, uh, I think, I think but how do you handle that okay. when people accost us? That's what I want to know. Okay. The, what is our the, responsibility? Best, the best way to do it is to say I'm not the water plant manager, not the water control person. So this is best handled if you call the town and put an official complaint that will look into yeah. it. That's the best way. We are not expected to have the answer for everything. But there is certain things that you can do to reassure people that you will follow up. Make sure that they call. Ask Jeff if they call, follow up. There's nothing wrong with you following up after a phone call is made at the town. And Jeff will feel that like acceptable. I'll just mention there are a couple of you that do that. Uh, you sometimes give me a heads up, hey, so and so's going to call you. Great, talk to them. And you call me a couple of days later. Hey, did they call? Okay. What did you say? Were they happy? Were they not? Yeah. I just, I just gave you a little briefing on it. <coughs> So that's the best way to handle yeah. it. Good. Okay. And no, we're not muzzling counselors. We're just trying to be sure that whoever speaks well, not the represents the opinion of council properly. Yeah. And if you have people who ask you, so what's your position on this item? You have the right to tell them, my personal opinion is but that doesn't reflect the opinion of council. Right. I'm not speaking for council. Okay. 
And there's nothing wrong with that. You have the right to have an opinion. The only sure. thing is, what you need to remember is once a, a motion is made, you need to present the voice of counsel. Right. And it might differ from your own personal position. Okay. Review and approval of council committee assignments. Jeff sent you all uh, a memo asking you if you had desired to change committee or if something was wrong or if you had conflict of interest that you couldn't resolve. And I haven't received any request for changes. So I would imagine that that means that you're satisfied and willing to carry on at least for another year. Am I reading you right? Yep. Okay, well, that's an easy one. Okay, so because it's a committee uh, assignments and we are in the organizational meeting, I'm required to read your different assignments. So here we go. At Nadlevit Levitt Irrigation District, Councillor Richard Bangry. Agricultural Society, Councillor Paula Brown. Airport, Councillor Richard Bangry. Alberta Southwest, Councillor Dennis Barnes. Audit Committee, Councillor Richard Bangry. Councillor Peter Drew, Councillor Jerry Selk. Could somebody fix the name of Richard Bangry? Uh, there is a misspelled there. Bangry. Oh, yeah. Gadsden County right. Emergency Services Authority, Councillor Tim Court, Councillor Joe Selk. We got Joe or Gary? Gary. Gary. I the was going spelling? to say the no, way it's spelled. It's spelled right. Okay. Well, it's we like shall refer you uh, to Councillor Gary Selk rather than the way it's spelled. Chief Mountain Solid Waste Authority, Councillor Gary Selk. Chinook Arch Appointment, Councillor Dennis Barnes. Chinook Foundation, Councillor Richard Bangry, Councillor Peter Drew. Citizen of the Year, Mayor Cronin. Communities in Bloom, Councillor Paula Brown. Community Future is a member at large in our community at this point. It's not a councillor. Economic Development and Tourism Board, Councillor Gary Selk, Emergency Advisory Committee, Mayor Cron, Councillor Dennis Barnes, Employee Negotiation Committee, Mayor Cronin, Councillor Peter Drew, Councillor Gary Selk, FCSS, Councillor Paula Brown, and it was Councillor Peter Drew. Historical Society, Councillor Tim Court, Intermunicipal Development and Planning Committee, Mayor Cronin, Councillor Tim Court, Councillor Iris Library Board, Councillor Dennis Barnes, Women's Trail Committee, names that might have to be revamped, Councillor Tim Court, Municipal Subdivision and Development Authority, Councillor Dennis Baum, Councillor Tim Court, Municipal Subdivision and Development Appeal Board, as all members at large, Parks and Recreation Committee, Councillor Paula Brown, OSC, Councillor Richard Benby, Policing Committee, Mayor Cronin, Councillor Peter Drew, Councillor Gary Selk, Policy Review Committee, Councillor Richard Benby, Councillor Paula Brown, Power Committee, Mayor Cronin, South Grove, Councillor Gary South. So those are the assignment and Councillor Self, I'm glad you're calling yourself Gary. <laughs> Jeff, I know the Atla Irrigation District only meets once a year at their annual meeting. Can you give me a cross the time on that? Um, oh. Actually, vague. Well, I just saw an advertisement today for a meeting with both Aetna and Levitt. They're amalgamating. Yeah. They're going to go into one irrigation district. So I will touch base. I can call Ryan Badney and ask and send that to you. Thank you. I, I, 
I just there's a sign on Highway 5 up by Mike's Auto actually if you're driving that way. When we came back today, I passed it just just glance quick, but I'll I'll check it out. And I don't really understand why you're not on their phone list or email list, yeah, but that should add your good point. Thank you for asking. All right. I have a question on our emergency advisory committee. I don't recall that we've met yet this year. You haven't. No. That is something to come. We need yeah. to. We need to work on that. Yeah. Right. I, if you recall, I suggested that we should be at least once a year, and we should be having training more regularly. For everybody. Thank you. That is something I was going to talk to Jeff about. So we made a point of it. And I have a bunch of stuff set up for policy review committee as well with you two. Yeah, so that is something that needs to be done. I've got a big agenda for that already. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? Thank you, Councillor. All right. Review of Deputy Mayor and Chair of CCW assignments. Seems to me we're doing okay. We're doing fine. It's working well. We still want two more letters to the citizens from the You don't have to, Councillor. Well, I'm just asking you for that. Your, your, your call, you want to do one, it's fine. I'll do the other. How's that? I'll do that. Okay. Okay. Eight is a meeting dates and time. You just told me that we were okay. And we don't need to change anything, but you need to have a motion to approve the uh, times of CCW and uh, regular council meeting. Quick question. Go ahead. So, why are we canceling CCW in this number? It's been the practice, but there's, there's no, no reason if you don't thing. want to. It's totally fine. Okay. No. All right. So, uh, here's a good question, Councillor. Here's for council to decide. How many of you feel it will be best for us to keep the CCW in December? Okay, so we will keep CCW in December. All right. So thank you so much. So uh, I just the motion don't want to have council meeting on the 24th of yeah. December. Yeah. Yeah. So I got that one. <laughs> Okay, so let's make a motion to uh, approve the CCW and regular council meeting times and add the changes for December, please. Well, so just, I have in your background a motion that has all the dates. Just omit the first line and you'll be in, in good shape there. Okay, so who wants to do that? Councillor Brown? Uh, I make a motion that the following meetings be canceled or changed. That council committee of the whole meetings. Read that one. Read that one. That one out. Yeah. Uh, the regular council meetings scheduled for December 25th, darn it, will be canceled. That the council meeting of the whole meeting scheduled for January 1st of 2019, darn, be canceled. Um, that the council meetings of the whole meeting schedule for July 2nd, 2019 be canceled. That the regular council meeting scheduled for July 23rd, 2019 be canceled. That the council meetings of the whole meeting should schedule for August 6th of 2019 be canceled. That the regular council meeting scheduled for August 20th of 2019 be canceled that the regular council meeting scheduled for September 24th, 2019 be canceled. Okay, uh, there are questions here. Yes, I, because of circumstances in the summer, I did not make it to any council meetings. There's only two, and I really felt I was pretty much out of the loop. I'm wondering, two is enough during the summer? Just throwing it out there, I don't know if the other council thinks, because I was obviously tied up in July and August as a holiday, so. As they didn't come and then didn't take holidays for that reason. I brought this up last time we had our organization meeting. I still feel we need to have that committee <coughs> meeting the first the first one of the month and the council meeting. Okay. Because we so, had a lot of discussion in that meeting. We go into the the, the the meeting, the council meeting, we haven't even discussed the things that we're gonna be talking about. 
All right. And I feel that we should still have the CCW meetings okay. in those months. All that's right. my opinion. So here is where you might run into trouble. It's difficult for me to tell you, council, you cannot take holidays. Pointing. Yeah. Taken. It's very difficult for me to say, those two days you're going to be there because now you want it done. And all of a sudden I find myself with three counselors, myself included, that could very well happen. And all of a sudden I cannot even have a meeting because I have no call. That's the danger. That truly really is a danger. There are some families that still have children around here, and when they're gone, they want a whole month off. I don't know. You tell me, I'm in town, I have no children in town, so I, I, I don't worry, but still. I think the suggestion here might be that if we're reaching a point in those summer months where we need a council meeting, we can always have a special meeting with council. Otherwise, we leave it that they're canceled. Okay. Would you feel comfortable yeah. with that? Would that disturb? Yeah. No, I, so just administratively, I'm indifferent. I'm ambivalent. It doesn't matter to me. I'm Jeff thinking always I have could. somebody that I can cover yep. if he's not yep. in town. No, it's fine. It's whatever you folks choose. What I could do, building off Councilor Sucks, is I could actually put it already for the June 2nd Council meeting that one of the items is the July CCW that you discuss on the agenda in June. Because I can't tell you what your agenda is going to look like in June. I, I don't know. So we could have that discussion in June and July, whether you're going to have July and August CCW meetings okay. on that agenda. Would that satisfy? Because you only have to give 24 hours notice of the meeting, so you got plenty exactly. of time. Yeah. I was just going to say, I tend to agree a little bit with Councillor um, Barnes in that in the summer, it feels like we have so much going on and Main Street, businesses, parades, all of those things. And this summer I did feel like I was a little disconnected and I was at every meeting, but I, just because there was so much going on. So I, I did like, I, I do think it's a good idea to all right. have that meeting. So would you feel comfortable carrying on with the motion the way it is and then add to a meeting if needed? If needed. Yeah. Yeah. Would that work? But we call it a CCW meeting, right? That's mm -hmm. our discussion and meeting? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It would be added as a CCW have meeting. You, have you checked with other, I know some of the other, I think McGrath and Raymond still have the two meetings. Yeah, but to discuss. Really I, know, I know we're not them. No, I know we are, are, uh, we are us, and I felt during the summer that there's been many things to talk about that we don't get to talk about, and it's just like I get into council meeting I feel like we just haven't been brought up to speed okay and, and all right so I, I, I don't disagree to. with with uh, all your conversation I don't disagree with none of it yeah. what has me concerned is to make sure that we don't call a meeting mm -hmm. and I find myself with other call that's all so maybe what you can do if in uh, June we have that meeting that conversation yeah. please give me a sense of your holiday time so we can figure out if we will have quorum or not. I guess okay. I'm a little different than everybody because I don't take holidays specific to seasons. I take holidays yeah, when I need to. You well, know, so if yeah. I have to be here at a meeting in July and August, I'm here. That's not a big yeah. deal for well, me. Everybody has different circumstances and need to accommodate their needs. Yeah. So that's the way we'll do it. You will be able at that time to tell me yeah if we can have four or one okay? Sure. It's fine, so let's move on. We have a motion on the table, we better, we better vote on it. So, all in favor? Thank you very much. All right. So, if administration can make a note that in June we address the July and August, well, at least a July CCW need. But we'll still have the one in the CCW in December. Yeah, right? December 7th. Yes. Yeah. Okay. December 4th, right? Uh, Sunday. Yeah. The calendar of event, as you can see, the next convention for EUMA <coughs> is going to be September 25th to 27th. 
So here goes the question. Do you feel that the strategic planning session was beneficial to us to do it while we were all there Absolutely. beforehand? Absolutely. Because if such is a thing, we can't accommodate yeah. all our needs. That puts a lot of pressure on our administrator. <coughs> Which way would you get well, to speak well, on some? I'm, I'm just suggesting that uh, I don't know the materials that he needs to supply for that is... The same as what he did this year and the year past. So he's going to take another assistant with him. This will be an Edmonton probably. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm good either way. There's advantages to having all your stuff downstairs. And I've seen advantages to us holding up in a hotel room without distraction. So I, I think it's worked the last couple of years okay. <laughs> I think we were extremely productive. So I'm, I'm game. Yeah. It's that whoever goes up there as your administrative assistant won't be driving home <laughs> the same day, right? I'll have to stay up there overnight too. Is that an issue? A two night thing, actually. For Depending on the agenda, it may be great for someone like Joe to stay for the whole session. Yeah. yeah that's fine. Okay. All right. Are we okay? Yep. Yeah. So that would be the 23rd. Well, we'd leave on the 23rd to get there yeah, and stay over, and then the 24th would be the planning right. meeting, right? So I, I just want to tell you how much I've appreciated working with you. Right now, we're going to close our organizational meeting. We have to go in a closed session for a few minutes. But I really want to tell you, it's been great working with you. I feel we have a progressive kind of council that has a very varied background and is able to bring very different perspective to what we discuss at the table. So thank you so much for all your efforts. Much appreciated. So thank you to our media. And we will go in closed session. This session has to do with a council internal review. I move to go in closed session. Thank you. And I promise you, let's make it 10 minute max. Yeah. All in favor? Yes. You promise or you're asked?